Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. First of all, I want to introduce myself. Hello, my name is Iksara Paramesuti. I'm a student of Agro Technology Department, Faculty of Agriculture, Universitas Besmarat. And in this research, was also supported by Professor Dr. Engineer Supriyana MS, Professor Dr. Engineer MTSD, MSE, and Engineer Senior MS. In this opportunity, I would like to be presenting my research about substitution of ZA with organic fertilizer and monoculture red ginger. Ginger is one of the highest export commodities of spices in Indonesia, but the increasing demand of red ginger is not matched by optimal cultivation, so productivity and quality of red ginger is low due to the use of inorganic fertilizer. The use of inorganic fertilizer such as ZA, which is not used based on the recommendation and also used for long period can cause many negative effects. One of the solutions to reduce the use of inorganic fertilizer is to substitute the use of ZA by using organic fertilizer such as manure. The use of manure is recommended for ginger cultivation as a substitute for ZA in order to improve the quality and yield of red ginger. The next one is methods of this research. This research was conducted from March 2020 to September 2020, located in Palang Hamlet, Wonorjo Village, Jati Usa District, Karanganyar, Kursi, using monoculture red ginger cultivation. The data analysis used in this research was analysis of variance and continued with TMRT or Duncan Multiple Range Test Level of 5%. This research was carried out using RCPT, a randomized complete block design with one factor consists of four levels with six repetitions in order to obtain 24 experimental units. Next, we go to the result and discussion of this research. First is general condition of the land. The research is located at an altitude of 772 meters above sea level using monoculture to ginger plantation. Ginger plants are very suitable to be planted in tropical climates with temperature ranging from 20 to 35 degrees Celsius. The type of soil found in this research area is latosol. According to laboratory test results shows that the soil has a slightly acidic pH, which is range of 4.5 to 6.5. Latosol is marginal soil with low organic matter and nutrient content, so that latosol soil type needs to be added with organic materials in order to increase fertility and land productivity. Next is plant height. The result on table 2 shows that the treatment B1 gave significantly different results to treat ginger plant height at treatment B0. The nitrogen content of ZA can meet the needs of plant in the face of plant height growth. Treatment B1 was not significantly different from treatment B2 and B3. The main essential nutrients supplied by the P1, P2, and P2 treatment was nitrogen. Nitrogen nutrient is an essential nutrient that is very influential for growth, especially plant height. The research on rice plants proves that there is an increase in plant height, which is a response to the addition of N fertilizer. Next is number of leaves. Based on the result of TMRT 5% test on table 2 shows that treatment P1, P2, and P3 was significantly different from the P0 treatment. The content of essential uh, nutrient in the treatment P1, P2, and P3, such as the iron organic fertilizer, is able to meet the needs of plants in increasing the number of leaves of ginger plants, especially nitrogen nutrients. Nitrogen is an essential element for metabolic process in plant. The optimum amount of nitrogen can increase the photosynthesis process. The P3 treatment was significantly different from the P0, P1, and P2 treatments and produced the highest number of leaves among all treatments. The application of manure was able to increase biological activity and availability of nutrient in the soil so that it could increase the number of leaves of ginger plants. Comenure contains a number of nutrients, both macro and micronutrients, as well as organic matter that is very beneficial for the availability of nutrients in the soil. Next is number of tillers. Table 2 shows the result of the TMRT at 5% level that treatment P3 produced the highest number of tillers and was significantly different from P0 and P2 treatments. The content of available macronutrients can meet the optimum needs of plant. Both macro and micronutrients were contained in organic fertilizer. The P3 treatment was not significantly different from the P1 treatment. 
on the number of tillers. This was due to the presence of essential nutrients, especially nitrogen, which is important for plant vegetative growth. Nitrogen nutrients have a very important role in the propagation of the number of tillers. The nitrogen element will increase the rate of photosynthesis so that plant growth also increases. Next one is fresh straw weight, double to show that the P1 treatment was not significantly different from the P3, but the two treatments were significantly different from the P0 or control. The straw weight has a close relationship with the availability of nutrients because plants grow well if the required nutrients are available in sufficient quantities which will optimally absorb by the plant. The P3 treatment was significantly different to P0 and P2, also produced the highest fresh drop weight. The macronutrients contained in manure have been proven to increase the number of leaves produced, so the photosynthesis process will increase. The higher the rate of photosynthesis of plant will increase the weight of plant straw produced. Next is dry weight of the straw. The result of the MRT on table 2 so that P3 was significantly different from the P0 or control and P2. The availability of sufficient nutrients to meet plant needs causes plant can grow optimally. Manure contains essential nutrients which can help the development and growth of plants such as increasing plant height, number of tillers, number of leaves, and can optimize the process of photosynthesis so as to produce photosynthesis. Therefore, the total tray weight of the straw will increase too. Fast result weight. The DMRT analysis results shows that P3 treatment was significantly different from the P0 treatment. In order for the plant to grow optimally, they require enough nutrients to supply the needs of ginger plant. And a good and proper composition of planting media can help the rhizomes to grow well. Ginger rhizomes growth not only requires macronutrients but also requires micro nutrients. Organic fertilizer provides various benefits for plant growth and development. Organic fertilizer provides macro and micronutrients needed for plants and also increasing application of uh, organic fertilizer will increase soil fertility, increase organic matter in the soil and improve soil physical condition. Short rhizome weight uh, on table 3 shows that P3 was significantly different from the P0 of control. It, organic fertilizers can supply nutrients in the form of macro and micro, also stabilize soil pH, improves chemical properties in the soil so that it can stimulate the growth of ginger plants for the better, improve morphological characters and yields from ginger. Treatment P1, P2, and P3 had the same effect on stored rhizomes weight. The first weight of rhizomes will affect the weight of rhizomes that have undergone storage. In treatment P1, P2, and P3, the fresh weight of rhizomes was quite high, so that after being stored, the stored rhizome weight was still high. The last one is rhizome size. The result of the variance test with the MRT at the 5% level on table 3 so that the largest rhizome size was found in P3 treatment, which produced the highest rhizome length, width, and thickness among all treatment. This caused by both macro and micronutrients contained in organic fertilizer that can meet plant needs so as to increase the photosynthesis process in plant. The increasing photosynthesis can increase the size of the ginger rhizomes. Ginger rhizomes grow in various sizes from one clump to another. Each part of the rhizomes of the ginger plant will be formed at different times and shapes so that it produces a variety of shapes from one rhizome to another each time. Next is conclusion of the research based on the result. The first one is the replacement of nitrogen fertilizer 0.3 ton per hectare set up with 3 0.98 ton per hectare organic fertilizer can increase the yield of red ginger better by 24%. The second one is the use of as much as 3.98 ton per hectare organic fertilizer can increase the growth and yield of red ginger in the form of number of tillers, number of leaves, weight of fresh and trace straw, fresh weight of rhizome, stored weights of rhizome, and rhizome slides. Here are the reference that I used to make this presentation. Thank you so much for all your attention during this presentation. I hope you have a great day. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.